Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. I'm a subject matter expert in Microsoft Dynamics CRM and today I'm going to tell you how to perform field updates using workflows in Dynamics CRM. So before moving on to the practical session or demo session, first let's understand what is a workflow. So what is a workflow? As I have mentioned over here that workflow, it automates the flow of employee tasks and activities and it reduces the time the process took to complete as well as potential errors caused by the human interaction. And workflow makes processes more efficient, compliant, agile and visible by ensuring that every process step is explicitly defined, monitored over time and optimized for maximum productivity. So with the help of workflows, we can assign some automated tasks or we can do the field updates or we can send an automated email to the candidate or to the employee or to the newly created account. Let's suppose, for example, uh, let's suppose a new account has been registered into my organization and I would like to send a thank you mail as soon as he registered and as soon as he provide the email ID, I would like to send a thank you mail to that user or to that account owner. So with the help of, uh, with the help of workflow, I can perform that task. Now what are the advantages of, of using workflow? So the advantages are it improves the productivity because it the workflow is automated and the workflow reduces the time spent on manual tasks. Second is visibility. The, it enables managers to see what is happening with business critical process at every point along the process and at any moment in time. Third is faster business reaction to change. Because of workflow, the, it enables organization to react quickly and smoothly to market changes through process modifications. And last one is improves accountability. It means that it, the, it monitoring time to execute business function creates productivity measurement and continue con process improvement. So this is about workflow. Now let's move on to our business requirement. So this is my business requirement that I would like to create a workflow to update the primary contact business phone number as soon as anyone updated the account phone number. So as you can see here, I have marked in the red line uh, in red box that if the phone number of this particular account A Dotum Corporation is updated, I would like to assign the same phone number to the its primary contact business phone number over here. So right now it is blank because the workflow has not worked, workflow has not in action now. So we'll be going to see first how to set up a workflow, how to create a workflow and then how to perform this particular task. So let's move on towards Dynamic CRM. So first of all, let me log in into Dynamic CRM. So as you can see here, I have, I have already logged in and I am on the same account which I showed you in the PPD. So my requirement is, if I'll update this phone number, if I update this particular phone number, let's say I change it to 452 or for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if I save the record and if I run the workflow, if I execute it, so I would like that this business phone number should be same as this phone updated phone number over here. So for this, first of all, we need to set up a process to create a workflow and then we'll, we need to update the accounts phone number. So let's see how to set up a process first. So for this, I over my mouse pointer on this Microsoft Dynamics CRM on the top left corner, from here, I choose the settings, I clicked on settings. From settings, I will be going to select processes. From settings, I select process. So I'm already on process now. Now I would like to create a new process. So I click on new to create a new process. What will be the process name? So I write, let's say, field update. This will be my process name, new process name. Category will be workflow. 
on which entity you would like this workflow to be this process to be executed so I would like this process to be executed or applicable on account entity entity means your objects and all so I select account from here it will be a new blank process and I want to run this workflow in the background click on OK so as soon as you click on OK a new dialog box will open over here this is for the workflow process now in this process we will be going to set our functionality what do you want to means what do we want to do over here we would like to send an email or we would like to uh, do the field update or assign a task or what so from here as you can see here process name is field update activate as process scope will be organization and I would like to check run as on demand process now here I would like to start this process when when the record field change now you have to set over here that this workflow will execute it when which particular field is changed one field is changed or multiple fields are changed so I click on select over here and from this dialog box I'm I'm going to select I'm I want if the phone number of the primary contact is changed so the primary contact phone number is main phone so basically this is the phone number of the field name of this particular phone number so let me open this one so the field name for this phone is the main phone so I select main phone from here and click on OK now I would like to add a step over here for the step so I clicked on add step over here from here I would like to update the records so I click on update records you can create update records you can assign records you can send an email you can change the status or if you want to start a child workflow you can start from here or if you want to stop any existing workflow you can update you can do that from here also but I would like to update the record as per my requirement so I click on update records okay and there are two steps so I delete this step I would like to perform only one step now I enter so contact phone updated or update this is the label now I, we would like to update what so we would like to update the primary contact because this is the primary contact so I would like to update the primary contact so from here I select primary contact click on set properties in set properties we will we have to set few more settings over here so here I would like that this business phone should be seen as the primary account phone number so I want this business phone should be same as this phone number entered over here so for this I click on business phone now we have to add fields over here so from here I'm looking for account and account that is main phone click on add and OK so I set main phone account I added over here this is the basically fields so it's done click on save and close now for using this or if you want that this workflow should be executed automatically so if you have to activate it without activating this workflow will not be work so make sure before you click on save and close you click on activate this so I click on activate it is activating and as soon as it's activated you can see the deactivate symbol now if you want to deactivate a process anytime you can click on deactivate I click on close so the process is set up now let's try I'm going to update this phone number and then we'll see whether the phone number of this particular bus, uh, is primary contact business phone numbers update or not so I click over here and update set the phone number to 2008009 and click on save the record saved let's go to account sales accounts and uh, let's open this and you can see the business phone number has been set same like the phone number of the account so this is how we can update the field or we can set the values into its associated accounts or associated contacts or its child child objects and all so that's all in this video. I hope this tutorial will help you to understand how to update the field of any 
associated child accounts or child contact and associated fields. That's all in this video. To get more information or about Dynamics CRM, subscribe our YouTube channel. I will be coming up with some new topics in new videos. Till then, have a nice day ahead.